Hej, jag heter Anders Jorén. Jag jobbar på Nyckeltalsinstitutet med föreläsningar, utbildningar och analyser och sammanställningar av nyckeltal. Well, personnel to know that's a key indicator regarding human resources that many companies and organizations calculate. And uh, the definition of personnel to know can be quite different between different organizations. And I shall take an example of how you can calculate and uh, express this key indicator. We have two organizations or two divisions in, um, in uh, a big company and uh, we have employees because I want it to be easy to calculate. Let's say we have 100 employees in each division in each organization. During one year we have um, a number of employees that are leaving our company or our organizations. In A we have 15 leaving and in B we have six. During the same period we have a number of employees beginning in the same organization. In A we have eight, in B we have nine. And my question now is how big is the personal turnover? And we, our experience tells us that um, different organizations calculate in different ways. And to be able to compare between organizations, between divisions, it's, it's important to have the same definition. And we have a suggestion of definition of personal turnover. And if you taste the word personal turnover and just feel the flavor of the word personal turnover, what do you feel? Well, we feel personal replacement. We feel how many employees are leaving and how many are beginning and how many of those beginning are replacing those leaving. And in A we have 15 leaving and how many of those are replaced? Well apparently only eight. So we have eight percent personal turnover. And the other seven, what, what, what kind of figures are they? Well they are a cut down. We are shrinking our company with seven percent. Seven are disappearing here, not replaced. And in B, we have six employees leaving. All of those are replaced, but uh, we have another three beginning. So we have a replacement of 6% and another three, not cut downs, but expansion of 3%. And with this way of Regarding the key indicator personal turnover, the definition should be the lowest of leaving and beginning compared to number of employees. That tells us the personal turnover, the number of people that are replaced during the period. We have five different indicators here. We have leaving, beginning, turnover, cutdowns, and expansion. And uh, perhaps we have uh, a company have, in different situations, different needs to know leaving, beginning, turnover, or those other two. We have different, different needs, but if we're talking about personal turnover, well, we think it should be lowest of leaving and beginning compared to number one, please.